This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. We are getting a look at chilling surveillance video of a shooting outside a gas station near Fort Lauderdale. This is an update to a story we brought to you yesterday as breaking news. The victim is seen getting into a white car when a man wearing a mask and a blue hoodie walks up to the driver's side door and opens fire as the car drives away. Police say robbery was the motive. The victim is in the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The shooter remains on the run. Anyone with information is asked to call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. And police need your help tracking down a brazen robber in Hollywood. The suspect targeted a woman at a public supermarket at 17th Avenue and Sheridan Street. Surveillance video captured the woman with a cart taking advantage of an unsuspecting shopper on the right who is distracted while looking at produce. The suspect snatches the woman's wallet from her purse. It had $400 in cash along with credit and ID cards inside. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke to the victim who does not want to be identified. Well, naturally, very upset. Nobody likes to be taken advantage of. And I usually zip my wallet up straight in my purse. Uh, maybe this time doing that, I was a little careless. My message to people, wear a crossbody purse. This theft is similar to this case we showed you last week from Cooper City, where a thief also catches another woman off guard and steals her wallet. Hollywood police have not said if the cases are connected. Again, if you can help, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. The man accused of causing an explosive scare in a Palmetto Bay store is back in South Florida, this time in handcuffs. Dorian Thomas was tracked down in Los Angeles. U.S. Marshals escorted him cross-country on a flight to Miami last night. Thomas was seen on an Instagram video setting off a firework inside a Dollar Tree store on July 4th. Nobody was injured. Thomas now faces charges of arson and criminal mischief. And today marks 26 years since Hurricane Andrew made landfall in South Miami Dade. It's one of those days that if you live through it, you remember exactly where you were and who you were with. The destruction was beyond imagination. More than 25,000 homes were destroyed and nearly 100,000 more were severely damaged. At the time, Hurricane Andrew was the most expensive natural disaster in American history. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Thankfully, it is quiet in the tropics, and locally we have some showers and storms, but uh, as we look back on Hurricane Andrew and how it devastated South Florida 26 years ago, we are thankful that, at least in the tropics, we're only watching a wave in the Atlantic, but boy, it's been soggy in spots this morning for parts of South Florida to kick off your weekend. 81 in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, 85 in Key West, and the radar is active in spots. We're seeing some wet weather pushing through Fort Lauderdale and also some showers hours here near Medley and down near Miami International Airport, West Miami, Kendall Lakes, Coral Gables, Kendall, what a mess. Princeton, give yourself extra time. Take your umbrella. Winds are calm or light. Because of that light steering flow, any storms that develop could lead to some uh, flooding in spots. So scattered storms today, highs in the low 90s, feeling like the hundreds into the weekend. Highs will be right around 90 with those showers on the breeze and some storms from time to time. And as we look back on the satellite view of Hurricane Andrew, it was a category on August 24th, 1992, the highest winds, 175 miles per hour, the lowest pressure, 922 millibars. But again, thankfully, in the tropics, we're just watching a wave in the Atlantic. Elsewhere, it's quiet except for Hurricane Lane, which is making an impact on the Hawaiian Islands. Lauren. Lisa, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.